Hey guys, today I'm going to be vlogging my day. I woke up about 7 o'clock this morning, got out of bed about half 7, and then I was meant to go to the gym with my mum at 8 o'clock, but she didn't end up getting out of bed until half 8. So this year I'm going to really try and push myself at the gym, and then I'm also going to try and get my mum to go to the gym as much as possible, because for years, as long as I can remember, she's been complaining about her weight, so I really want to help her lose that. And yeah, we're going to go to the gym now. I don't know whether I'll be filming, because there's so many people in the gym all the time. How you feeling? <laughs> back from the gym and I did a really good workout but I don't know how much I filmed because my camera died like halfway through I think. I'm literally so tired. I did legs in the gym today and my abs were absolutely killing me from yesterday's like really hardcore ab workout. So yeah I'm so tired now but I'm gonna go and have some breakfast. I haven't eaten yet so I'm gonna go and eat my breakfast. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have today. This is the struggle of having a cat that drinks out of your glass. Every single time you have a glass of water, he drinks out of it. But it's not like he drinks the whole thing. It's not like it's getting his good use. It's like... He drinks like five sips like, and then... Yeah, five milliliters of your pint drink and then he's like... He's oh, so funny. Like he proper sticks his head in there. Yeah. Ooh, oh, camera shy. This lighting is literally so bad. But I'm going to have a protein shake now. For my protein shakes, I normally use like dairy-free milk. So like not cow's milk if that makes sense i don't know what that's actually called but like so oat milk rice milk almond milk coconut milk anything like that this is the vanilla protein powder by my protein and i just put it in this little jar thing because it makes it so much easier and then i can just you know don't have to keep going to get the packet every time so for my breakfast i've just chopped up four mushrooms and i've put like a tablespoon no a teaspoon of coconut oil and I'm just gonna fry them. And then I've just cracked two eggs in here off the heat. And then I'm just gonna mix them around before they set. So this is almost cooked and I've just added some tomatoes. I don't like my tomatoes to be really soggy so that's why I add them in like last minute. Now I'm just gonna add some salt with this pink Himalayan salt thing. It's so much nicer than normal salt. And then add some pepper. So this is my breakfast. I've probably got about a quarter of an avocado and then I just like shoved a load of nuts on there. Yeah, there's quite a lot of healthy fats on this plate with the avocados and the nuts, but then the eggs are like protein. So it's really good after a workout because it will keep me going like for the rest of the day, probably until either dinner or maybe like two o'clock I'll have a snack. This is like a huge breakfast. I'm not sure that I'll finish all of this, especially because I have my protein shake as well. I need to drink this. And then I've also, got a how would you say it green tea and turmeric turmeric something like that but my brother drinks these all the time and he says that it's really nice so i wanted to try it but yeah it's too hot for me to try right now so <sighs> these eggs are really nice normally i'm not like the biggest fan of eggs like i won't just eat an omelette or like i won't eat scrambled eggs or something like that only if it's with other things so that's why i put like loads of mushrooms and tomatoes and stuff because I just don't really like the taste of eggs on their own. So I need to have a shower and get ready, so like put a little bit of makeup on maybe and yeah then I need to do some editing and things today. I haven't got a lot to do today but I wanted to go to Tesco maybe to get something for mine and Charlie's dinner. Can you stop making a noise? So I've just had a shower and I washed my hair and I feel so much better now, literally. I love like freshly washed hair and I've moisturised, I feel really soft. So I'm going to do my makeup now and I'm just going to do like a light 
base, I think. I really wanted to use this BB cream that I have, but it's a little bit too dark for me and I'm a bit pale right now. So yeah, I can't wear that. I have to wear that when I'm tanned. So I'm gonna mix my foundation with a little bit of moisturizer, I think. And yeah, hopefully it won't be too heavy because I'm not feeling like wearing loads of foundation today, but my skin is like really bad at the moment. Like I've got spots, like little tiny spots. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it is quite dark for me. So I've just finished getting ready for the day and I just wanted to quickly talk about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately. And it's that I want to kind of switch up the way that I do my videos, like the style of my videos. I think Vlogmas really proved to me that I like editing and filming and even watching vlog style videos a lot more than sit down videos and things like that. I just think personally that they're a lot more interesting. I'm not sure about like other people, but so I think that I'm gonna be incorporating a lot more vlogs into my upload schedule. So at the moment I upload twice a week and I think maybe one of those will be vlog, one of them will be a sit down one or even Free a fortnight will be a vlog and then one will be a sit down video so that the vlogs don't get boring I think that I'm going to dedicate a topic for every vlog or every other vlog so that I can talk about things still and keep them really interesting so today I'm going to talk about my health and fitness and then maybe another day I'll talk about my sleeping schedule maybe the next time I'll talk about my diet I'm not sure I won't dedicate like the whole vlog to this one topic but like I'll definitely incorporate them throughout the vlog so yeah I just wanted to get that out of the way and let people know that I'll be switching up my videos a little bit more hopefully they'll be more interesting they'll definitely be more interesting for me so yeah hopefully you guys find them interesting but I would really appreciate it if you left me some like topics that you want me to talk about down below anything health fitness lifestyle I don't know beauty sort of thing I'll try and cover a wide variety of things not just health and fitness so today's topic is going to be my health and fitness I've said that so many times now but it's also going to be like the changes that I'm making to it and like my new year's resolution and stuff like that so one of my new year's resolutions is to keep fit and active I feel as though I've been in kind of a funk lately because I mean for the past year really so I turned vegetarian in April and that's when I completely stopped eating eating meat and then I stopped eating fish in about August I think around that time I stopped eating fish as well so now I'm completely just vegetarian I'm not a pescatarian anymore the reason why I've been in a little bit of a mess is because I used to be such a good person with my health and my fitness so I would literally prep my lunches for school every single day and I think because I was at school it made it a lot easier just to eat what I brought so I, in the morning or at night I would take like fruit and I would take like rice and chicken or salad and like a meat or something like that or fish or tuna blah 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 I would literally stick to this diet and it was really good so when I came home I would be full and wouldn't want to snack because I'd make sure that I packed enough food for myself and in the morning I would have granola or I'd have like porridge or I'd have like I don't know something that's healthy I would always make sure that I ate my breakfast even if it was at school at like 10 o'clock so yeah when I turned veggie it was really hard for me because I was really uneducated on what I could eat I didn't know what was protein apart from meat and I didn't know what was healthy fats and I didn't know what kind of things I should be eating so I stopped eating meat at a really bad time I was right in the middle of my exams I was stressing a lot and it kind of didn't help that I wasn't getting the right amount of protein and I wasn't getting the right amount of carbs and things like that and I wasn't drinking enough water because all of my health and fitness just kind of went downhill and that's when I stopped going to the gym as often I would always make up this excuse that oh well I'm doing my exams I need to focus on this when in actual fact I could have gone to the gym for like half an hour and it would just would have just made me feel so much better yeah so looking back on that now that's something that I definitely would have changed and I think it's something that got me into this cycle of just eating what was around I wouldn't plan my meals like I used to I would just have like whatever veg was in the fridge and whatever thing was in the freezer my health just completely went off board even though I wasn't eating bad I w it wasn't like bad food it just wasn't as healthy as I could have been and I wasn't getting the right nutrients this kind of got me down because I always felt like I was this fit person and everyone knew me as this fit person I had to keep up this reputation of being this really healthy girl 
but in reality I wasn't being as healthy as I could have been and when I was going to the gym I felt like I had no energy and I couldn't do anything and like that is literally because of what I was eating so this lasted right up until the new year and I know I'm kind of talking like it's a past thing but it's still happening I'm still trying to get educated I'm still trying to change my routine and things like that so I'm not like trying to act like I'm this professional person that knows everything so from about September that's when it started going really downhill and then it got to December and I was doing vlogmas every day and I can honestly say that I went to the gym once in December I think once and that's like completely not like me I would normally go to the gym five days a week so yeah I was just focusing on editing and I'm glad that I did because otherwise my channel wouldn't be where it is now but it's still like annoying because I know that I should have gone to the gym and I wouldn't feel so rubbish right now so because of this my body has changed and I haven't necessarily gained weight maybe like a couple of pounds or something like that but like my muscle has kind of turned to fat and it's not as lean as it used to be so I guess this video is going to be like the start and then I'll do updates throughout the months hopefully and show you where I am and obviously there's not going to be a huge change because I am not fat and I know I'm not fat but it's just going to be like losing the tiniest bit of fat and toning and gaining muscle and things like that. Something that's really helped me this month is this book. This is the Joe Wicks Veggie Lean and 15. This is really good because he does like an introduction and he talks about his sort of journey, I guess, and his relationship with veggie food. So he talks about and gives examples about every food group. So carbohydrates, fat, then he talks about hydration. He talks about sleep and well-being. So yeah, this is a really good book. And then it also gives you lots of recipes as well. So Charlie and I have been doing a lot of recipes out of this book. Then there's also this Hungry student cookbook thing that Charlie got me for my birthday this year I think and there's quite a few good recipes in that so if you are vegetarian or you want to lay off the meat a little bit then I would definitely recommend these two books so I spoke a little bit about my fat gain and then also about my gym schedule in December how it was awful so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my schedule now I am going to be dedicated to going to the gym five days a week I know that five days a week does seem like a lot but I just know that I can do it because I used to go five days a week for months so that's something that's going to change my gym schedule will definitely be a little bit more strict so I'll be going maybe Monday Tuesday have Wednesday off Thursday Friday and maybe Sunday something like that that's what I did last week so I'll give you an update on that in my next fitness video but something that I've also changed and will change even more is my actual workout routine so I did this thing called the couch to 5k and I got quite good at running but I have always been the type of person that hates running I've never liked running and even as it got to the end of the couch to 5k I was just like dreading every run I mean it did make me a lot fitter and I did find running a lot more easier so I definitely recommend doing that if that's something Thing that you want to do but I mean it's not something that I can sustain and I can't keep this up all the time if that makes sense so I have found an alternative to running I like doing a 10 minute cardio session every single time that I go to the gym this is just to like warm up it's not like a really high intensity cardio unless I am doing sprints when it's more dedicated cardio day but what I do every single time I work out is I just do a high inclined fast walk and this honestly makes you sweat so much and it also gets your body and like your mind ready to work out so sometimes I'll go to the gym and just be so unmotivated and I don't want to do anything but then I've done this walk and I'm like actually like I can go and do this now and I feel a lot better about it so yeah I definitely recommend that if you hate running I've also been incorporating a lot more HIIT exercises and HIIT workouts into my routine so another thing that I'm going to be doing to make sure that I stay healthy and also to get rid of my spots and keep my skin clear is drinking a lot more water. I have kind of like a weird relationship with water. I absolutely love it, but I forget to drink it. So one day I'll drink like four liters of water a day, like something really excessive. And then the next day I'll drink like one liter. So it's, I don't really have like a schedule or a routine, shall I say, about water. It's just like, when I remember to drink it, I will drink it. So I'm gonna be making sure that I drink at least two liters a day. I'm gonna be aiming for free, but 
yeah, I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm just going to try and keep myself hydrated. I've got this really cute little bottle that I've had for ages. So I find that like carrying this around with me all the time helps me to remember. I'm also going to be eating a lot healthier. The whole of January, I pretty much ate really healthy, except for a few times where I've ate like a Chinese or a takeaway or something because like family have come down or things like that so yeah i'm just gonna really really try from like now on to not eat unhealthy so yeah that was kind of a really long rant and i'm probably gonna have a really hard time editing this and it's probably gonna be like 20 minutes long this video i'm glad that i spoke about it and got it out there because this is something that i really want to change and really want to like dedicate myself to and i know that if i did a video about it then it would like make me stick to it. So last year I made an Instagram account for my fitness and this was a point where I was like really, really good at keeping to the schedule and I would go to the gym all the time and I'd eat really healthy. And then I kind of got into that stage that I was talking about and it just kind of went downhill from there. So I don't know whether I really wanna get that Instagram account going again. I mean, I did enjoy it, but I'm kind of more dedicated to YouTube. I kind of enjoy that a little bit more. And I don't wanna pretend like I'm a professional because I'm not. I literally have no idea what I'm doing all the time. And I'm constantly worried in the gym that like people are gonna judge me because I'm doing the exercise wrong or something like that. Or like something that I'm eating isn't as healthy as I think it is or I say it is so don't listen to everything I say because it's probably going to be wrong but yeah I'm going to chill a little bit now because I've been filming for 45 minutes and I'm definitely going to have to cut this down when I edit I just wanted to show you quickly this notepad that I got and I got this purely for YouTube so I've got loads of video ideas in here and like checkpoints so I can like check them off once I've done them. And then on a separate page, I'm going to do the title and then when I'm filming, uploading and then a checklist of topics to talk about in those videos. I'm really annoyed because I really wanted this in pink. Like I've been obsessing with pink lately, but they only had it in blue. So I just got all wrapped up to go and walk Izzy. I've got like a big fat jacket on, a scarf, my hood up, my headphones on. And then I was like looking around, I was like, where is she? My mum's bloody on a walk with her right now. She could have told me about it. Isn't it funny though? Like I literally walk my dog like this. <laughs> it's so funny. And normally I wear like my glasses and no makeup. So it looks like 10 times worse. So it's about quarter past four right now. And I started to get a little bit hungry and I probably won't be eating dinner until about seven at the earliest. So I made a little snack. We had this salad last night with this gusto meal that we made and it was like carrots, spring onions and radish. Yeah, so I have that and then I put some like the tiniest bit of cheese in because I love like cheesy coleslaw. I don't like it when it's like not got cheese in it and I didn't really like this that much last night. And then I put a teaspoon of grounded up flaxseed and then I put some apple cider vinegar and some balsamic vinegar and then some salt and pepper. It looks like this. It looks pretty gross to be honest, but it's actually really good. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to watch Super Nanny because I've been watching that quite a lot lately. And I've also been loving the originals. Like I'm on season four now, I just love it. I'm with Charlie, we're just at Tesco now. We're gonna get some stuff for a cauliflower pizza because I'm really craving it. Charlie thinks it's gonna be disgusting, but whatever. <laughs> How do you like it? It's alright. It doesn't taste like pizza though, does it? No. Hmm, it's actually quite nice, isn't it? It's alright, yeah. Can't really taste the cauliflower, but it tastes of something. Like, you can tell that it's not pizza. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end the vlog for tonight. I hope that this isn't too long. I know that it will be, but I don't want it to be like a half an hour vlog. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave in the comments down below suggestions for video ideas and topics that I, that you want me to talk about in my next videos. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>